Hey YouTube, Pete the Norfolk Chillyhead coming to you today with, yep, you guessed it, another hot sauce review. Today really excited because we've got yet another brand new company that we've never featured before on the channel. I always love finding new companies to check out their hot sauces and their products, so uh, really looking forward to seeing what this company has to offer. Also really excited because they are another local Norfolk based company. Uh, Norfolk of course being the county where I live and this company is based out uh, in a village near Thetford I believe. Um, so really excited to find Find out what they can offer. Uh, the company is called Philly Chilies, and this is their barbecue chili sauce. And it looks really nice, a nice simple looking bottle, but the sauce inside looks very, very nice, kind of sort of a mustardy sort of colour, I would say. Uh, so there's not much information on the on the bottle, it just says use at barbecues or to marinade for grilling. And if you want to check them out, you can go to phillychilies.com. So yeah, the, the website's worth checking out. They've got a few nice looking products on there. Um, but like I say, this is a barbecue sauce and it doesn't look like your typical barbecue sauce. Normally you get this sort of dark kind of uh, chipotle sort of colour. This is more mustardy kind of colour. Look, looks like they're taking a different kind of approach on this one. So let's take a look at the ingredients. We've got tomatoes, malt vinegar, onion, celery, carrot, apple, soft brown sugar, rapeseed oil, garlic, chilies at 3%, doesn't say what kind of chilies they are, English mustard, ground ginger, salt, flavourings, cloves, peppercorn and bay leaf. So 3% with the chilies, it's going to be mild, even if it was a soup hot, you know, it, it still wouldn't be that challenging at 3%. Uh, so it does look like they're focusing more on the flavours with this one. Lots of nice herbs and spices going on in there, so uh, really looking forward to seeing what this is like, because it doesn't seem like it's going to be like any barbecue sauce I've had before. So let's check it out. Yeah, definitely getting a, a, quite a strong whiff of mustard on there, and also a kind of a fruity note, maybe coming from that apple. It does smell sweet, but it doesn't really taste, uh, doesn't smell like any barbecue sauce that I've had before. It does smell quite mustardy, but it's not sort of taking, you know, my nose hairs back like some, some of these uh, mustards can. Definitely getting an apple vibe from there, possibly combining with those tomatoes. Maybe a bit of vinegar as well. But it does smell very nice. It does smell nice and uh, flavourful, so let's get some on the spoon and see what we've got. And it's, it's been out of the fridge for ages. In fact, it hasn't actually been in the fridge, so hopefully it should pour fairly smoothly. Okay, now it's coming. Now it's coming, and you can see how crazy thick this is. It's it's just like piling high. My arm's getting tired. I'll probably be only going for one spoonful with this because it's so hard to get out. Let's just hope it tastes good and it's worth the effort. Okay, that's going to have to do for now. Jeez, that's thick. As you can see, it's not moving at all. It's like a really thick puree. I do like thick sauces, but that was hard work to get out. All right, well, as, as I say, it does smell good, so let's hope it's been worth it. Down the hatch. Hmm. It's tasty. Um, right, see now, now it's coming out. Now I've got that through that first blockage, and now it's flowing quite well. It's now flowing quite well. See that came out very quickly. It's not like any barbecue sauce I've had before. It's fruity, I'm definitely getting the apple, and I am getting quite a bit of mustard, but it's not too strong with the mustard, it all blends together quite well. It's got a nice sort of creamy kind of puree sort of texture to it. There's a little bit of sharpness in the background coming from the, bit, the vinegar, but like I say, it is in the background, it's not like an overly vinegary sauce, it is right in the background. 
all in all, I'm finding the flavours to be quite sort of mild. They don't sort of hit you around the chops, you know, like some sauces do. It's a, it's a, it's a very friendly, sort of mild-mannered kind of sauce, both in the flavour and the heat. It's very nice. It's very, it's like I say, it's fruity. I'm getting some spicy notes as well, possibly from that ginger coming through now, now that I think about it, and some garlic as well. Maybe some tomato as well, but the fruit that's the main fruit that's going through is the apple rather than the tomato. This is a very interesting sauce. Um, it's certainly not bad by any means. I do like it. Um, and like I say, once it does start to flow, it, it does flow properly. It was just a bit of blockage I think that I had there to, at the start with the with the bottle there. Like I say, it does flow very well now. It's nice and thick, as you can see. It's a very nice sauce, but because of the, the mildness, I really don't think it's going to be too interesting to the hardcore chili heads. Um, on a heat level, I would give it like about 2 out of 10. It's extremely mild, maybe even a 1. <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's very, very little heat there, especially for the chili heads. Um, this would certainly do for a family uh, dinner table, you know, if, um, if your family doesn't have that higher tolerance for heat. But does like a nice little bit of sort of warmth in the background there. This would be very nice. It would work very well as a marinade, like it says, um, with grilled meats, especially probably chicken. I would say it would go great in a sort of a, a chicken kind of burger sort of thing. Definitely go well as a marinade. Could possibly even use it because of that sort of appley fruity element. You could maybe even use it with with grilling fish, perhaps. I'm not sure. I think you could probably use it with fish, which I think that would go quite nicely, to be honest. Um, but all in all, it's it's quite a strange one. This one, to be honest, it's it's got really nice flavour, but it's not exactly punchy. It just kind of it sort of lingers, and it's sort of it's sort of it's warming, but it's not it's not punchy. And certainly, the heat is very very low. Um, but it is an interesting source, and it's worth checking out, especially if you are in the Norfolk area um, or you want to look them up on the internet. You know. Do check it out and see what you think of Philly chilies. I'd certainly be interested to see what else they have. I know they, I think they do chutneys and various other sauces and things. So this would be um, a good, a good starting point for Philly chilies. And uh, like I say, I'd like to check out what else they have to offer because um, yeah, this is, this is it. definitely very tasty and a, and a very interesting sauce. So yeah, I'm glad I picked this one up. All right, thanks for watching, guys. That was a long one with the uh, <laughs> trying to get this out of the bottle. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all once again very soon with another review. See you later.